In this quick guide, I'll show you how to craft the wonder weapon on a terminus, the CR-11 Beam Smasher. Let's go ahead and do it. I'll go as quickly as possible, so make sure to pause this video and rewind if necessary. Timestamps down below. First of all, we'll need to activate the Pack-A-Punch machine, and this mission is super hand-holdy. These are marked for you. Open up the marked doors, and at each of these little vending machine things, interact with them for 500 credits each, and protect it for about 30 seconds each. Once you've done so, from all of the purple-eyed zombies, it'll let you progress to the second, and eventually the third little generator. Once you've powered up all three of these generators in the starting location, as well as the central room where the juggernaut is, and finally all the way down by the bottom of the map in the main facility type area, you'll finally be able to bring up the platform that has the Pack-A-Punch on it and can take you between this lab area and the upstairs area. This will be important in a moment. For now though, you'll need to save up a bit of cash and head across to one of these upgrade machines, such as the one over here on the northeast side of the lab, and inside of this arsenal, make sure to buy the the dead wire mod for whichever weapon you have. Then climb onto the platform and tell it to lift up. Make sure you have a crawler or just one zombie left, hopefully distracted, maybe not here, you can do this solo though, and on your way up you'll find three electrical boxes. Shoot the one immediately behind you, then to your left, and in front of you. Once you've done all three of these, I shoot them a few times for good measure, you'll see electricity fly off from it when it works, head immediately behind you upstairs, enter the juggernaut room, shoot the panel on the wall, outside to the left, shoot the final panel, and now you've unlocked access to the wonder weapon crafting room. Kill the zombie crawling out on the floor to pick up an EMF fob, and now you'll have the workbench unlocked immediately in front of you for the wonder weapon, the beam smasher. From here to your left, you'll see three math problems as well as X, Y, and Z on the board. What you need to do is head to three specific computers and hit F to activate them. The first one you'll find located all the way down by the dock, just under PhD flopper, slightly up the stairs, right over here is X. Hit F to activate it, and as soon as something shows on the screen, you can move across to the next one. You'll find Y all the way back up, just through the door by Quick Revive on the far northwest side of the map. Then once you've activated Y, head straight back through past Quick Revive, across to the opposite side, then down just a bit, where you'll find Z. Activate this computer as well. Once you've done all three of these, you'll need to head back to PhD Flopper, and inside of this same room over here with this scary sounding device, you'll find on the table a briefcase with a hand attached with a multi-phasic resonator inside of it. With this device on you, you'll need to kill all the vermin that spawn in right behind you and make your way back into the room connecting to the bridge that we just came across. Inside of here, on the table, you'll find a battery. Once you've picked up this battery, head back to the crafting room, and if you're in single player, well, at least you can pause the game to figure things out. Essentially, there's a math problem here. Yes, you can skip it by heading to Quick Revive and paying 5,000 credits to the man behind the glass to give you the answer shown on the terminal to the left, but you can also figure it out super easily. These questions on hard, It'll just be more hard if you can't pause in multiplayer. Essentially, head across to the device, hit F, and it'll place X, Y, and Z, as well as three different shapes below that. Take a screenshot of these shapes and move across to the board, or look across to the board, and we'll figure things out. Essentially, X has two vertical white circles and two horizontal black circles. This one is located in the bottom right, so we'll take the number on the left, in this case 2, and the number right below it, in this case 0. That makes 20. Then the second one's just a blank circle in the top right, 0 on the left, 0 on the bottom, so it's 0. And finally, my one was a diagonal clear and black pattern, so the first one on the bottom left being 2 on the left and 2 below, so 22. Now that we know what X, Y, and Z all equal, it'll be different for you. Look across to your right, we'll see another board. This contains a bunch of math problems there. Super simple, just substitute X for whatever number you found and do some super simple bot mass. Then head back to the machine and punch in your answer. If you're playing single player, it's super easy, take your time. And once you've punched in the correct code, you'll see the map starts trying to triangulate some kind of point, but this is gonna take some time. For me, I needed to end the round, then play the next round, and at this point, it should give you the result, but for me, it didn't, so I needed to play another round, and then one more on top of it, taking me up to round nine from, I think, round six. At this point, I finally got the voice line saying, it's been triangulated, we can head back to it and see what island has been marked. It'll be one of three islands. The major islands have ammo caches and things on it. For me, it was the one on the right so I'll mark it and head across to it, but important 
importantly, not before we pick up an item from the same table we're looking at, the multiphasic resonator. Once we've grabbed this item, you can head all the way down to the dock, grab yourself a boat, or spawn one in if you haven't got one, using these little projectory things, and you'll need to head all the way to that marked islet. On this marked island, you'll see a blue or green ball of energy. All you need to do is hit F to activate it with the device that you picked up earlier. If you don't have it, you can't activate it. Head back, pick it up from the table, and then activate it. Essentially, you'll need to survive multiple waves of zombies spawning from around the area until eventually a ball of energy is spawned, matching the color of the orb. Head across to it, hit F to pick it up, and you'll be able to slowly walk across where we'll walk through the big ball, placing it inside just by walking through it. You don't need to interact with it at all, pressing any keys. You can only hip fire through this, and if you choose to reload, you'll drop the ball of energy so you can run around, pick it up again, and slowly make your way back towards it. Then once you've placed two or three of these, you'll see the ball will take off and it'll leave you an item on the floor. Pick up the item and make note of where the ball headed off to. It'll head across to one of the other two major islands. For me, it went off to the left island, so that's where I'll be heading next. Mark the island and travel all the way across to it. This time, it might not be blue, it'll be green, for example. We'll do the exact same steps, so activate the main big ball, kill zombies, pick up smaller balls, stick them into it, and eventually it'll drop an item and fly off to a third location. So pick up the item, head across to the third marked island. In this case, it was the North northwest one, and we'll do the same thing one final time. This time it was purple, so activate one ball, two ball, and it'll drop us the third and final item. It'll also possibly end the wave. Once we pick up this third item, you'll need to make your way back onto the boat and head all the way back up to the crafting room right next to the juggernaut where we can craft the CR-11 beam smasher. Grab the wonder weapon and with this we can progress further into the story. So hopefully you found this video useful, thank you for watching, my name is me, Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!